again once more on this day. It is WFE Wrestling Figure Entertainment here with a new video for you guys. So today we are going to be revealing the Ultimate Edition Fiend. This came in today, not the day that this is uploaded, but yeah, today as in today. So, um, this is a highly anticipated figure. I've been waiting for this for a while. Very excited that it finally came in and that I'm about to crack him out of his packaging, but we have to go over the packaging first as much as I hate to say it because I want to get him out, but we have to get go over the packaging first. So, here in the front we can see the Fiend with all of his accessories, and here we got the Fiend, Bray Wyatt, um, Ultimate Edition logo, on the side we get the Fiend, on the back we have a product picture, excuse me, a picture of the Fiend destroying Finn Balor, a little bio read. I don't know if you can read it, but if you can, if you um, and want to read it, pause the video there. Some statistics or whatever. Picture of the Fiend. Back to where we started. Now let's crack this Supreme Fiend out of his packaging. Let me in. So Mr. Fiend Bray Wyatt is out of his packaging, but first we're going to go over his accessories, which include these two interchangeable head sculpts. Here we have uh, the regular head sculpt and then the tongue out head sculpt. And in the past I've said that my camera can't pick up fine details, but I found out that if you, I zoom in, I think it can. At least that happened last time I recorded. Hmm. That's kind of stupid. It's not working when I say it's going to work. Now I look stupid. Well, that's kind of stupid, but whatever. You get the point. Um, I think this is the same head sculpt that we got on the Elite 77 Fiend of Bray Wyatt. Just different hair. Um, this is a completely new head sculpt and different hair. With the hair completely pulled back. This one has the hair all over the place, which I kind of like. Kind of like when he's doing uh, Sister Abigail and when he goes to turn, you know. Um, we got a different finish with these head sculpts. Um, the finish on these is like... Um, more shiny and um, I like that they have the tongue out head sculpt because that's something that the Fiend is known for we also have the Fiend's Universal Championship which is really beautiful looking it, this is all actually sculpted this isn't just printed it has texture really cool let in um, his thing is let me in and I think the Fiend's face is stands for me let me in and, uh, yeah, whatever. This looks really good. Um, next we have the interchangeable arms. Here we have the bear tattooed arms. And these are, this is the first figure I've gotten with pinless arms, which upsets me. Kind of, I mean, I don't usually do anything to change out lower or upper arms. Um, but, yeah, kind of upsets me. Um... Interchangeable hands, same stuff we got with the Elite 77. Her heel hands, my clothing hands, um, jacket, and then jacket arms. I don't know why they do this. They should just give us a cloth jacket and not interchangeable arms and then this. Um, I might get, just get um, a custom cloth jacket or something and to just ditch this. I, I mean, I'd still keep this, but yeah. But now that we've gone over all those, now let's go over the Fiend himself. So here is the Fiend out of his packaging and uh, looking a lot better than I expected because um, when they released proto images of this guy, he looked a bit stumpy. But here in person, he looks a lot better to me. And uh, But first we're going to go over how the figure looks, articulation, interchangeability, and then some Fiend Elite figure comparisons. So first, we already went over the head sculpt, really good head sculpt, same as the Elite 77, just different hair. Um, all of the tattoos are beautiful, just great tattoo work. Um, going down into the torso, um, this is the first time we're gonna get we're getting these um, praying hands that I don't think my camera can pick up. Oh my god, my camera! Oh. I hate this camera. I don't know. You can, yeah, I can barely pick him up. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, you can see him, kinda. But, um, 
yeah, there's that. And, um, got the same hands as well. In the back, we got this back tattoo. And, uh, going down into the pants, um, good pants. I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get a sculpted on belt. Same with the Elite 77 Fiend. We just got a painted on belt, but, um, pretty, I think it's the same crotch, same legs. Maybe a little bit different, I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, we also got new boots. New, uh, boot molds. Um, has, it's the laced up boots, but with kick pads on it. And, um, goes forward about that much. Goes backward about that much. And then with these Ultimate Editions, we do get Toe Pivot, which is really cool. But, I'm not, go I'm not going over articulation just yet. Um... We got these red designs on the boots, um, and <clears throat> I think this is a brighter red than his Elite 77 fi figure, um, and, um, oh yeah, I really like these sculpted on belt things, that's really cool, and, uh, well, that's, that's about it for how he looks, now let's go over articulation. So, articulation-wise, his head doesn't move too much. Um, does go all the way around 360 and whatever, but yeah. And his arms go up this much, just like with all figures. And on this, we get double jointed elbows, which is really sweet. We always love to see double jointed elbows. Um, got bicep swivel, hinged hands, hands that spin in the, um, wrist. Whoopsie daisy. Um, oh my god, <sighs> this camera's gonna drive me nuts. And, uh, we do get okay, um, ab crunch. Better than most Ultimate Editions, I would say. Um, about that much. And we get really good diaphragm shift. And, uh, the waist goes all the way around, 360. Um,. And, uh, this guy is on ball joints, so he can do the splitsies real well. Well, not splitsies, but he, his legs can move a lot better. They go forward about that much. Don't go backward much because of the butt cheek flap. And my camera is literally going to make me lose my mind. And, uh, we get double jointed knees. Um, thigh cut. Boot cut. Um, oh boy doesn't want to move there we go goes back about that much goes forward about that much got toe pivot and um that about does it for um uh articulation now let's go over some interchangeability so this bad boy has a lot of interchangeability since he is an Ultimate Edition. For one, the head sculpt is interchangeable. Hold on, bro. There we go. I think. <laughs> Hold on. It goes on, but it's really tight. Wow. It's scary to move it, honestly. Wow, that, I'm going to have to do something about that, but, um, yeah, there is what that head sculpt looks like on there. And then, um, the arms are interchangeable as well, whoops, so that we can do this, put on the jacket right quick. So, yep, there's what he looks like with his jacket on, and, uh... Now I'm going to put in the hands. The other hands, which are my holding hands. Yep, and there he is with the mic holding hands that are interchangeable and the arms that are interchangeable with also double jointed elbows and bicep swivel that go up and they go up about that much little bit more than the other arms, but whatever. Um, and that's about it for interchangeability. So, I want to see what he looks like with the championship on right quick. Put 
because this championship looks really cool. And that looks really good. Yep. I like you. So here we are with our Elite Fiend figure comparisons. And, um, well, um, starting with the head sculpt, uh, it is the same head sculpt, just different hair. And, um, obviously this is a bit different because this is Ultimate Edition. We get the 360 chest articulation. And this just goes, whoops, um, ba backward and forward. And this one only has single jointed <coughs> elbows. This has double jointed elbows. So look at how much more that elbow can bend. Oh my god. That's going to be the theme of this video. The camera driving me nuts. But, um, yeah, we get the same hands. Um, different, yep, like I said, different colored, um, pants. This is brighter, which I like. Also, more accurate boots on this Ultimate Edition. Because it has the kick, kick, kick pads, and this is just laced up boots. This one has, um, the praying hands. This one doesn't. And I feel like the tattoos have a bit more color on this figure, but I'm not sure. But, um, but yeah, I think I feel like that's about it. I just want to see what this fiend looks like with the lantern, because it didn't come with the lantern. The Elite 77 did. So, let me do this right quick. Habuski. And Habuski. And that's what he looks like with it. So that'll be all for this video, guys. Thank all of you for watching. Make sure to slap like and subscribe, or the fiend will let him in, himself in. Um, and thank all of you for watching. Bye.